Hi and welcome to this uh, how-to on rendering in Blender Cycles. Um, I just read a Twitter post from some guy who uh, wrote about giving up on cycles since he can only, or since he only gets grainy results and grainy pictures, and um, he couldn't figure out how to uh, set up cycles so he gets nice and clean results like uh, the one you are seeing right now. Uh, so I went ahead. I quickly set up the scene here with, with, with a few Suzannes and uh, we have a velvet bottom plane, we have the glass Suzannes and we have the mirror background plane th with, with a glossy material and some roughness and of course we have the environment texture that acts as only uh, light in this scene as well and as you can see this is a pretty nice result, it's pretty clean and oh, and also, of course, I added some uh, DOF, some dep depth of field, and it's pure cycles. There is no compositing done at all. So this is what we are going to do. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the scene I just described. You, we have the camera. You can see the camera limits. I enabled them, and you can see the focus is uh, on the middle monkey here, the original monkey, and. Um, Let's start from scratch. So I'm going to delete the default cube by pressing X and uh, I'm going to enable screencast. Screencast over here. Mm, start display. All right. So default scene, I'm going to top view, going to orthographic view, and I'm going to add a plane. Scale the plane quite a lot. I'm um, going to add another plane. Side view rotated by 90. Uh, front view, scale it up. And uh, reposition, actually doesn't really matter that much. Uh, not rotate, grab it on Y. Something like, no, doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, now I'm going to add a few Suzannes, set them to uh, smooth shading, and uh, all now I'm going to change to uh, Cycles Render up here. This will immediately change the look of our solid view a little bit, and I'm going to start to assign materials now, already quickly. So the bottom plane here, this one, uh, is going to... Uh, the velvet material, the background, glossy, and Suzanne, glass. All right. Also, to make Suzanne a little bit more beautiful, um, yeah, subserve, default settings will do. Um, yeah, reposition Suzanne a little bit on the Z axis. And maybe rota rotate her like this. That, that will do. So we're going to top and I'm going to duplicate Suzanne. Where is our background there? So I'm going to duplicate Suzanne like a couple of times. And rotate them around a bit. they look at each other and uh, now I'm going to reposition the camera real quickly mm -hmm. also you you notice I'm in orthographic view now but uh, when I look through the camera I'm always in perspective mode well at least when the camera is set to perspective so uh, I want to have my camera like this I guess mm, maybe like this and uh, I'm going to press Control, Alt, and Zero, which will reposition my camera here. Maybe zoom out a little bit so we get a glimpse of every monkey. And then I move this Suzanne a little bit more into the middle of the other monkeys and rotate her a little bit on the Z axis to my direction. All right. So this is going to be our basic cycle scene.
so we, we start with the cycle settings now and the most important thing for cycles the settings here uh, it's, it's 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 the integrator if you want to get a nice and clean result in the end you will have to play a, r a lot with the integrator settings um, and it also depends on your machine of course what you can do and how long it will take um, and also important to know for cycles is when we go into the preferences over here or we just press control alt u um, we go to system to the system tab and we have the compute devices down here it's the, at the default is CPU that will always work and if you have a NVIDIA GeForce card like me you can use CUDA if you have a build that supports uh, the CUDAs and uh, I will usually use this but uh, if you don't have a GeForce and you have a Raiden ATI card then uh, most likely only OpenCL will work for you and um, you will not be able to see textures in OpenCL mode it's still useful for the render preview but you will have to do your final render with the CPU mode so I'm going to choose CUDA over here close this and this gives me uh, new options here I'm going to choose experimental GPU compute because that works best on my machine and I'm going to focus back on the integrator settings now. So for some reason it uh, didn't revert to the default presets here when I loaded the factory settings at the beginning but never mind so you would have the, def the default factory settings here now if you start a fresh uh, blender process and you change it to cycles and it's direct light now here for me and uh, you usually you you only have those three presets for now direct light uh, full global illumination and limited global illumination and what they do we will see in a moment so my uh, render samples for the preview are at 10 now this is really low a hundred would still be too low to have a final result and uh, the picture you saw at the beginning, the one I rendered in five minutes, uh, I put those on 1000. And this was actually too much. I didn't need that much to have a clean re a result that as clean as the one you saw at the beginning. But uh, yeah, I just liked to have the 1000. It took only five minutes, so why not go up to 1000 then? Uh, sometimes, even though it's, it's not always the higher the value, the better. Um, sometimes when I played around with this, um, and I went to something higher than, uh, much higher than I actually needed. So I could see at uh, 1,000 samples, it w was a nice clean result already. But I uh, let it run for like 2,500 then, and I started to see fireflies in uh, different locations of my picture. And uh, the more it rendered, the more fireflies would develop, even though the, the part of the picture where the firefly would uh, appear what wasn't really unclear or anything i don't i don't really know why that happened actually but yeah it it doesn't really you, you don't really need more than you need actually so if you see the picture is pretty clear at uh, like 600 or 700 or something like that you should not really need to use more than that like i saw it was uh, pretty decent at like 700 800 and i just put it up to a thousand to have a nice round value and uh, left it at that so yeah for the preview I'm gonna leave it at 10 usually I put that on a hundred or on zero uh, but for the sake of recording this I'm gonna leave it at 10 so it's rendering now and here we go with 10 samples and um, if I go to the background plane now here so I select the one in the background we go to the options this is the glossy material and I want to add some roughness to this so if I would change the value to 1 it would, would go completely nuts if I change it to 0.1 you can see uh, our camera is not getting the direct reflection anymore so we don't have the immediate fireflies there but the picture looks a lot more grainy and um, yeah usually I don't go higher with this than 0.2 for the sake of render time and uh, you can see we have fireflies now developing at other spots in the scene a few fireflies of course are always okay but let's change this down to something really really low like 0 0.01 uh, and you can see we have still a good amount of reflectiveness here and um, our light source actually displays as uh, kind of a sun now 
if you want. And it also, what it does, the, due to the reflection of the light source, that uh, the, light, the light goes fro from the light source to our mirror object, the, the, the plane in the background, and from there it gets reflected and falls down to onto our velvet uh, floor object. And you can al already see a lot of fireflies all over there. So um, if I want to change this, I have ob obviously I have to change the settings on my light either or reposition my light so this doesn't happen or change my lightning for the scene completely in general. Um, or I could change the roughness here to a higher value again, which would give me uh, more render time and less fireflies, immediate fireflies. At least there would probably still be quite a few fi fireflies if I let this render long enough. And to get rid of the graininess in this picture now, at uh, 10 samples, uh, we would have to let it render for a lot longer than this to get a clean result, so um, in this case. So this is if we just use uh, one lamp now, we could add uh, more lamps and play a lot with the lightning, but in, in general, just to point this out, not to, to uh, talk too long on this point, lightning is very important in cycles and you always have to be aware of the stuff that reflects your light, where your light source is, and uh, if you don't want to have tons of fireflies and super grainy results. And yeah, obviously the materials that reflect the light and are also very important, and the roughness value has a huge impact, as you can see, and uh, you have sensitive values like that, like the IOR. So the higher the IOR, the more the more gets reflected here, the more dense is the reflection. I don't know if, I, if that makes any sense at all, but yeah, if I change this down, the monkeys will get a lot more transparent, but the render time will decrease. If I would change this uh, down all the way to one, the monkey would pretty much be completely transparent. I guess.